Okay, ChatGPT5 is finally out. You wanna know what is new, what is good at, and what is failing at? You're in the right spot. Hello everyone, this is Professor Rino from New Zealand, and today I'm gonna give you an overview of what ChatGPT is really good at. I'm gonna give him a really harsh task. I know that any other competitor like Claude, Grok, and Gemini will be fairly good in uh, doing this uh, nasty task and it's about astronomy. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT5 to generate a simulator of uh, the solar system and see how he performs about it. A bit of history about the progress of ChatGPT. When I started using it, it was version 3 and it had 170 billion parameters. So billion means 90 and it was pretty shocking and I was pretty amazed on the capability and the reasoning capability to give answers that look like humans. With ChatGPT4 we have instead 1.7 trillion parameters, so it was 10 times bigger than ChatGPT3. However, ChatGPT5 now, according to some sources that I found from the web, is not 10 times bigger in terms of parameter compared with ChatGPT4. Apparently it's between 3 and 5 trillion parameters, so it's probably 3-5 times bigger than uh, the original ChatGPT 4 that we have been using so far, and uh, I'm really curious to see and how it performs with the really complicated task. They really advertise the capability of doing programming and it's really good at this and that. Until I don't put my hands on it, I won't be able to tell the truth about it. So let's go and have a look at it. Here we are, this is how the interface looks like, they put a final bit of color to make it look a bit fancier and new compared with ChatGPT 5. You can see here you have the possibility to swap from ChatGPT 5 to the thinking model. I'm assuming that the think model it will be more capable to do handle really nasty stuff like the one that I'm gonna ask about the solar system. So I'm gonna go here and click and swap and see if it's gonna be capable to run a simple prompt. So this is the prompt that we are gonna use today. I've been using it in the past with Claude Grok to generate simulators of solar system. I really like and if you wanna discover more about uh, the solar system with your own eye or your own camera, you need to definitely watch this video about uh, the beginning of astronomy journey using telescopes. I have a lot of experience in it, so if you have any question about your first telescope, just ask me. So let's go and see how ChatGPT5 performs with this task. Finger cross. So let's go and wait for it. So you can see already that the thinking is there. I try to click on it and see what's going on. Right, it's telling me that is developing a code. You can see that I asked to have it the code in Canvas. It didn't listen and is instead generating the code directly in the main chatbot. I'm really curious to see if uh, it's gonna swap at some point. I don't think so. So it's asking me instead to save the code and test it on an independent page created by me. So I'm gonna copy and paste in a brand new HTML file and have a look at the results. All right, you can see here the results, it's out there. It's pretty minimalistic. Let's go and see if we can swap from the 2D to the 3D. It doesn't seem to work. I'm gonna give ChatGPT another chance to make it work. So I'm gonna try to fix the problem that we have been just experiencing, asking to do also the 3D view and to have the code here in Canvas. I hope that I don't need to copy and paste once again an independent file. I really like, for instance, code that allow us to test this simple code right there without copy and paste back and forward. So let's go and have a look at the result. Finally, it's listening, it's opening it on Canvas, so I can later on run the code right here. So let's wait and see what the result is gonna look like. 
it seems that he has completed his task. Just click here and run the code. And no bad at all. You can see that the simulator it's there and he has a really nice visualization. Let's go and skip from 2D and 3D. It seems that he is doing a pretty good job. Let's see if we can speed up the process. Really pleased with it. And just as a comparison, I'm gonna open what has been the results done with Claude two months ago. There we are. This was the results out of Claude. And you can see here that the 3D visualization is pretty cool as well. And uh, I must say that this was pretty bad fail, but this one started looking pretty awesome to me. And I start being pleased on the capability of ChatGPT to finally have some good programming skills. So no bad at all. If you want to know more about ChatGPT, if you want to know more about all the latest news about AI, don't forget to press like and subscribe and we will be back here with many new video. Thank you for being with us today. So you can see that ChatGPT 5 is finally catching up with the Claw, Croc and Gemini. It's getting decent stuff out there, up and running. I'm gonna spend more time and days testing it with more challenging tasks. Carol and the boss is going to do the same, generating a new video for you. Don't forget so to stay in touch. Tell us in the comments what we would like to see in the future and we will be back with more exciting video for you. Bye for now and see you soon.